All right, so here's a valuable lesson for you. If you're one of the people that runs um, other than diesel fuel, alternative fuels in your M35, most of you do some kind of filtration process, settling, something of the sort. And if you've been watching for a while, you know that I've got this big processing station in here. And I use it sometimes. Um, I run vegetable oil, or used to, uh, quite a bit. Um, not a good idea to do this kind of stuff indoors. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of messy. So, if you run vegetable oil, not motor oil, and you get it in the four and a half gallon containers, it's a good idea to get them out of those four and a half gallon containers as quickly as possible. And I'll, let me show you why. I've had these containers sitting in here on the floor for a few months. And this is what happened. So that's four and a half gallons of vegetable oil on the floor in my shop. And I did not have enough floor dry to combat that. Um, <laughs> So what happened is I went to, there was one sitting here, and I went to pick it up, to move it, and the whole fucking thing shattered, and it just, there was nothing I could do. And I have a beer in that freezer getting cold, and I need to get to it, so I'm going to have to like, hop to my engine stand there, and hope I don't slip on the floor dryer that's on it, and fall in this crap. Um, so this is a nice wonderfully large mess I'm gonna to have to clean up because I brought this stuff in here and didn't process it soon enough so these things these containers are brittle now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the other four here out do anything with them without the same thing happening so maybe I'll pump the pump the stuff out of these containers and into a bucket and dispose of it because I'm not I'm not dealing with this so, just a little bit of forewarning to you. I mean, if anybody wants this thing, this processing station, let me know. I I'm done with it. Um, you know, I've got the wrecker. I can lift it and put it on your trailer. It's got a centrifuge on it and all the valving and stuff. The only thing I did was take off my second fuel filter base and my hose there. So, um, yeah. If you want to, uh, if you want this thing as is it works i will take the money that it takes to replace that filter base which is like uh, the filter in the base maybe 50 bucks so um and then come get it set it up with me I'm tired of this thing being in here it needs to go so uh process your own fuels it's even got a nice spray bar in the top up there so it you know I'll explain it if you really want this thing. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Check our sponsors in the description below. As always, if you want to support us, check out our Patreon, and we will see you next time. And don't do this. It's dumb. <laughs>